Welcome to um, Black Chat. You know, I think this is um, quite incredible. The you know the Namajira family is continuing in the next generations because we've got what is it two or three generations now that the artist continues? Oh, a few. I mean, Vincent is his great grandson. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the big fella. He's, yeah, the, <laughs> the big fella. Yeah, the big fella. He's a great grandson. My goodness, great grandson. No, so um, this is a whole exhibition. Um, what are we hoping to uh, uh, see? Well, the new exhibition that we have on at Yavu's Gallery is called Desert Songs by Vincent Namatira. Uh, it's, it's just an incredible honour to be working with him. As you said, he's an absolute icon. Mm. And I guess as the title suggests, we've got uh, musicians in this show. So Warumpi Band, Archie Roach, what? Uh, all these kind of trailblazers and originators uh, that you might play on the show. Um, and he's got them on his country, uh, the desert landscape of Indulkana community. Uh, and... I mean, it wouldn't be a Vincent Namajira show without a kind of cheeky reframing of the British monarchy as well. So yep. King Charles is in there, completely transported to country as well. And uh, my personal favourite, there's a portrait of Albert Namajira. It's really moving and beautiful. Uh, so it's a whole collection of these uh, leaders in some ways celebrating and in some ways kind of cheekily taking them down a peg um, and bringing them all on an equal playing field is what Vincent likes to say. So Vincent was one that came down here many years ago, and they had this um, exhibition, or they and talking that at the um, Opera House. Is, is that the same one? I think. Uh, yeah. So yes. he's, I mean, strength for strength over the years. You also might remember him. Yeah. Uh, he won the Archibald Prize back in 2020. Yes. He's the first Indigenous artist to do that with his portrait of Adam Good. Yep. Yep. No, that's what I thought. You know, because I remember them all coming down, and uh, it was um, quite incredible. Um, you know, to see the the next 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 gener next 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 generation. I mean, I've got a print. Yeah. I've got a print. You know, with the gum tree and the mountains behind it. I've oh, one, you do! Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I got one of those that I, I've had for many, many, many years, and it's you know, it's really um, easy to distinguish. You know, Albert Namajura, the original Namajura um, work. So, you know, people go, "Oh, wow!" And I said, "Well, I don't know whether it's worth anything, but you never know." Oh, I think so. You never, uh, know, you never know. Well, it's interesting. Uh, Vincent's also got quite a style. It's a lot more kind of cheeky and subversive um, and a little bit more of a caricature. Yeah. They've all got kind of, um, they're all smiling and kind of their faces are sliding away in some ways. No, it's interesting. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, no, Albert would be just blown out because, you know, back in his day, his great-great-grandfather's day, he couldn't buy a house. Um, you know, he was buying um, things for mob and uh, was getting busted for it. And uh, it's taken a couple of generations now and look where his great-great-grandson is, you know, is being recognised as well internationally. And so, well, the family name will always be there yeah, from, from Indara. So this is uh, in incredible. So what we, as I said... Um, is he there by himself or has he brought family with him? Um, he's here with the art centre manager from Iwancha Arts, um, Heath Aaron. Yep. Um, so he just arrived yesterday afternoon with Heath, um, kind of swaggered in the gallery this morning. Uh, it's all looking very good. We're ready to open on Thursday. And is he working in um, acrylics or oil or, you know, um, pencil? Uh, you know, what? He's, uh, what yeah, good question. He's working in acrylics. They're kind of a really fast-working medium. But, um, but for the first time, he's actually used oil stick in this show with this massive four-panel self-portrait. Um, so that's also really exciting. That's the one that you're promoting it with, is uh, the yeah, Vincent self-portrait. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty spectacular. <laughs> oh, I didn't imagine doing yeah doing something of yourself. No, was, and that's what you said, oil stick and acrylic on linen. Wow. Yep, that's it. And uh, interesting because he's got the Namajira... That's the kind of the one that I've got behind that he's got there. And that's the trees. Yeah, that's it. There's always these kind of echoes of um, the history of his great-grandfather's paintings. Yeah, that's... Um, yeah, it's important to stay connected and, um, yeah, bring a little bit of himself into history, a little bit of history into himself. But kind of maintaining the, the Namajura, yeah, the Namajura feel there. But um, how, many, how many artworks will he have on display? And well, he's got 11 paintings and two posters, actually. They're these kind of vintage posters from uh, when Queen Elizabeth was first doing her tours of Australia back yep. in the 50s, which is when she actually met Albert Namatira. Um, and so he's repainted over the posters. And so, you know, Elizabeth has a, a dingo next to her. And then another one, Vincent and Elizabeth are both riding on horses out on country. Oh, that would... Oh, really? Huh? 
Is her riding a horse out on country or is it just a painting of her riding a horse? Uh, the poster, I'm not sure where she's actually riding the horse. It's certainly not on country. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what Vincent does is he kind of transports them, transplants them. Um, so she's kind of not necessarily comfortable but certainly you know experiencing what she may not have um when she was here in person but that's what you can do with paint and a little bit of humor well that's it no it will be i mean she still was riding horses in her 90s before she passed away so you know it was something that she she always loved to love to do that in her corgis you know and she did love her dogs exactly (laughs) and so vincent's dog dingo features in this as well (laughs) oh this is going to be so those posters so are these all for sale yes they are Oh, and is there any publications on that that are going with it or pam- brochures? That people... Well, actually, I mean, October is a big month for Vincent, so he's also got his Thames and Hudson publication launching at the end of the month. Oh. So it's a massive, massive book of all of his work, and that also coincides with a big survey show that's opening at the Art Gallery South Australia. Um, so that's the 20th of October um, in association with Tanandi Festival. Um, and then that's going to tour to the National Gallery of Australia in Canberra uh, March next year. So he's really um, got a big year ahead of him. Oh, no, definitely, definitely. So the, he's launching the publication in Adelaide when the 20th of October, you said? Yes, and we've got a few ticky advance copies here for the opening of our show as well. Wow, no, this will be, this will be interesting. And this is published um, by, who's publishing the, the uh, book? Thames and Hudson, the big one. So that will be, people will be able to get that after the 31st of October then. 31st yeah. of October. Oh, That's this, right. This, Pre-order uh, online. Oh, my goodness. Is, is it a, a doorstopper book? Is it really heavy? Or? It, it is, actually. <laughs> You'd be able to prop open a door with it or climb it down on the coffee table and it'll feel like a real... <laughs> that was just like, oh... Well, it's awesome. real paperweight, this one. This is... <laughs> No, it's always like there's it a door stopper or we can, you know can we pick it up or um can we use it to you know for I mean I shouldn't say that a door stopper but it just shows you the weight um of the of the book I would never put it at the door I'd always put it on the coffee table there Yeah exactly I <laughs> know oh, it's a really incredible publication it goes through all these different chapters of his practice whether through music or um people in power you know he's painted um US presidents and British monarchy and himself right next to um, King Charles and the Queen and even Trump. Oh, <laughs> even Trump? He tra- he, he, oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, his, his practice is all about kind of power structures and influence and leadership. And so sometimes it's celebrating, you know, incredible uh, trailblazers like these Aboriginal musicians, and sometimes it's kind of short-circuiting our assumptions about power and, and who is at the top. Well, I suppose it's just the next generations and how they've expanded their horizons to look into that, and because we've got it in the news all the time, yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's that's really good to involve going into going internationally. So that even broadens it, and the opportunities for people to actually um, purchase his work and uh, purchase his book. That's a very smart thinking. Very, yeah, exactly. very smart thinking. No, because his his father's, I mean, his great great grandfather's is so well known um, internationally as well, and then to People go, oh my goodness! His great great grandson's painted the Queen, Trump. <laughs> that that is just absolutely amazing. So um, it's opening uh, this uh, was it this Thursday? What time is yep, it? Yep, that's correct. Six to eight p.m. Yavu's Gallery in Surrey Hills. Six to eight um, Thursday the fifth. And uh, he'll be there. Um, you have any uh, entertainment? Uh, well, Vincent will be the the guest of honour, the main entertainment. He's here just for this week, and then he'll be heading back to country. Uh, in Gulkana community. Um, so, yeah, he's the entertainment. So, they, and we were saying that he was given a talk on Saturday. So, if he's not giving that talk on Saturday now, he's giving the talk on the opening night only? We will be having an in conversation between Vincent and the Director of Art Space, Dan and Willamalu, Alexi Glass Cantor, on Saturday. So, um, that's something that you can get a little bit more insight into his practice and um, a little bit more intimate, and you can meet him uh, properly one on one. Oh, so they can do that online? Uh, no, you can come into the gallery as well. Oh, into the gallery and do it there. Oh, okay then. You know, cause so I was you can be surrounded by the works and um, the installation that we have. Yavu, Yavu, that's right. Yavu, <laughs> Yavu Gallery, which is, you just told me is Turkish. So is it run by Turkish people? or? Uh, yeah, so John Yavuz, who's the founder and director of Yavu's Gallery, he 
grew up in Germany, but he's Turkish Armenian. Yeah, so no, this is brilliant. So that uh, you know, it, yeah, it brings in another brings in international communities and Turkish uh, community as well. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Look, everyone, please, if you get an opportunity, it's uh, this. Uh, is it a big uh, space that you know? How, how many people can it hold? Yeah, it's a big, beautiful space, and we have so many people attending the openings. Um, so it's a lot of fun, very lively. Yep. Um, spilling out onto the street and all that. So we've so got there's a, a pub across the road. Actually, it's called no. the Royal Albert, <laughs> and we wanted to rename it the Royal Albert Namatira. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love that Royal Albert Pub across the road. Okay, then. Yeah, so that's, exactly. a, that's a good trademark for everyone. Yeah, so we've got 11 paintings and there's two posters. Then they go back to uh, the 50s with the Queen and that there. So that should be really interesting. And then listening to um, Vincent uh, um, talk to, so, and the, the self portrait of him over a Namajira um, painting, yeah, which is no, pretty good. Hey, look, Alana, yeah. thanks very much for coming on and letting us know. I think this is really great when we see the continuation of culture through the next, 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 next generations, and I'm sure it's going to be there because I remember when they were at the Opera House, that was quite incredible. There was a lot of people um, that yeah. turned up at the Opera House there, you know, and how many artists have that opportunity to get into the Opera House, you know, visual Yeah, artists. exactly. It's a real honour to have Vincent in the space with us, so... Yeah. Um, please do come along and uh, thanks so much. Yeah. Well, it's been lovely to chat. Oh, yes, no, it is. And having him OIYM, you know, and the Aboriginal yeah, man, yeah, I always do that. Yeah. <laughs> but look, please, everyone, if you can get an opportunity. Oh, what's the street address, sorry, of the of the um, the gallery? Uh, it's uh, 69 Reservoir Street. 69 Reservoir. Oh, Reservoir Street. Okay. Surrey Hills. Great. Thank you very much, darling. I'll hopefully see you on uh, yeah, see you th 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 Thursday night, okay? Yeah, thanks so much, Lola. You're welcome. Bye for now. All right, bye. See you Thursday. No, this will be so good. Gee, you know, Vincent uh, Namajura, the Western Arunta um, artist at uh, Surrey Hills. It'll be 6 to 8 this uh, Friday, Thursday night at 69 Reservoir Street in Surrey Hills. So please, if you can get an opportunity, come along. And then he'll be giving a talk. He'll be in conversation on uh, Saturday at 2 o'clock with the uh, director of uh, the art space.